This is the old Vic Tunnel project, base beneath Waterloo Station. We're just approaching the rear exit of this tunnels. The tunnels are used for the arts, where performances and shows are put on. This is the rear exit, and behind that hoarding, we have our fire alarm control panel. There is another exit where we have a repeater which is close to the box office but as we enter the tunnels you'll see the size and the makeup of the tunnels beneath Waterloo. There are five tunnels all um, covering 2,500 square meters and we got involved with this project in 2009 so back in 2009, we were called in originally to provide a fire alarm system within a two week time period. As stated, the tunnels were very large, 2,500 square meters. We had to get a system installed very quickly. We put forward a wireless fire alarm system done a design, a proposal was put together and submitted to the old Vic with consultation with the insurance company and fire authorities our proposal was accepted and we installed a wireless fire alarm within a two week period the system worked well we carried out a radio signal strength integrity test before installing the equipment make sure that all the signals were correct and once we had done that we installed a hi-fi wireless fire alarm placing the translators in the various locations and logging on the wireless call points and sounders to the local translator and this proved to be very successful as stated the system was of a manual construction where we had various manual core points in all of the arches. This basically gave members of staff and uh, the public the opportunity if they saw uh, a fire or an incident they could raise the alarm at any given arch. This manual type system was sufficient for the needs during performance times but back in 2010 in December on completion of a performance uh, there was a fire and this was due to a halogen type light which was close to some form of fabric it caught a light and a fire started the tunnels were quickly filled with smoke but this particular system was a manual system only only a few heat detectors that were located in high risk areas and the alarm was not raised until smoke was bellowing from one of the tunnels following this incident uh, a new fire strategy was put together followed following a very comprehensive fire risk assessment the fire risk assessment recommended that all the tunnels should uh, have enhancement of their passive fire protection so as you can see the arches now have I think it's an hour fire rating compartment between most of the arches all the six that were leading out if you look at the way the air sampling systems have been installed with regards to the pipe work you will see that the pipe work actually does not go straight into the top of the air sampling detector the pipe work actually goes past the detector and loops back around the detector into the top the reason why we had to configure the pipe work in such an arrangement is because during the early days of the tunnel when um, it, there wasn't much heat down, down within the tunnels there was a lot of condensation the condensation would 
follow the pipework and enter the top of the units and this could potentially cause damage to the detectors. We therefore decided to loop it around so any dripping condensation would not go directly into the air sampling detector but would loop around any droplets would go past the unit onto the floor. This was part of our design strategy and, and has proved to be very successful. Into the car part we upgraded with fire cut compartmentation so all the doors the main door all the exits were now fire rated and there was fire compartment zones of a smaller nature with regards to the fire alarm system which was a wireless manual system this was recommended that it was upgraded all the tunnels now should have smoke detection and the system should be connected to the British Rail security station which is located across the road therefore the design had now been enhanced and changed so we opted to put air sampling detection throughout all the tunnels we provided the make of the Stratos micro detectors from AirSense technology and we had one micro 100 detector unit in each tunnel. The pipe work 50 meters can go left or right so it was within our range and these detectors were interfaced back to a local wireless interface unit to send the signal from the detector to the wireless system that would activate the sanders. On top of that the arts have various performances whereby they may use artificial smoke and this of course would trigger the air sampling systems during these performances therefore the system was backed up with heat detection, wireless heat detectors in all the tunnels so during any performances uh, where artificial smoke was going to be used the system had a two phase operation where we could isolate the air sampling detection in that area and this was backed up with heat detectors and of course we had manual core points so you can have manual activation if you look around the video you'll see the various detectors on the walls followed by the pipe work, the red pipe work so it was quite discreet and also you would notice the wireless manual core points dotted around with fire extinguishers at most of the exits the enhancement of the fire strategy now um, was quite comprehensive all new fire doors fitted etc and the uh, management now was able to to operate the fire alarm in the event of emergency from the box office area where we have a manual core point fitted in the box office plus you've got a repeater panel located at the box office the main control panel is situated at the rear exit where you again can operate the system since the, um, 2009 the, the tunnel walls as we can now see are much drier and much warmer down there. As you can see from our short video that the old Vic tunnels have a comprehensive and advanced fire alarm system. All five tunnels are protected with complete control and operation from the box office or their offices plus it has a connection to the British Rail Security Centre. If you would like fire systems to put together a design on your behalf or you need any advice when it comes to fire protection systems, why not contact us at our office or you can complete the website contact form and we'll get back to you.